Yeah, we, we keep up to date on, on all of the international shipping uh, requirements or as much as we can, or at least the ones that are important for our customers. So uh, first, the most important is heat treatment compliance of solid wood packaging materials, so to prevent the spread of microscopic and other pests. Uh, virtually every country requires either heat treatment or treatment fumigation with methyl bromide, which we don't do much here in the United States. We use heat treatment, so all of our products are heat treated for, for shipping internationally. And um, for a while, not every country was doing that, but we were aware of where that was required and where it wasn't. And certainly we're audited monthly now, and, and everybody knows that we're a reputable company that is uh, uh, they can have confidence in for their international shipping. There's other special requirements at times for China, we're on top of that, there are uh, frequently changes in Europe with uh, what they call Rojas compliance uh, for, for um, certain types of heavy metals and, and other types of contaminants that they want to keep out of their uh, uh, waste stream. Uh, there's packaging uh, recyclability requirements in, in Europe as well. And then there are all kinds of other things that, that happen in other countries that we generally try to stay, stay up on, including things that as our customers want to ship more um, what would be considered hazardous materials, whether they're lithium-ion batteries or explosives or other kinds of um, hazmat. We, we keep in touch with what the United Nations and DOT uh, requirements are, what testing is required. We have relationships with testing labs to be able to get that done and then to be able to use those marks uh, and certifications on the packaging for the customer.